Hi everybody, my name is Simone Trevisiol from Kuno Simulazioni. Today we'll start to explore the basic features of the editor, how to move inside our project, some basic and object properties, camera settings and the concept of persistence. For this first tutorial we'll focus only on, on racetracks. So let's open the editor. This is the editor. Uh, in order to be able to import any object, uh, we have to export it in, F in uh, FBX 2012 file format. And all the texture must be located inside the folder named Texture, and the only format uh, file format accepted are uh, DDS and PNGs. Depending on the complexity of uh, our uh, project, the import will take from some seconds to some minutes to import. So let's import our demo track, demo track. File, open FBX, enable the demo, open. This is the, the track. Uh, once important, you will be positioned at 0.0.0, .0, 0 of uh, coordinate of, of your CAD and we can start moving around using the arrow keys plus left mouse left mouse button we can move our view up keys will move toward the center of of the screen where is the pointer now we move to here up and back Left and right, they, they use as a strafe, so you will strafe left and strafe right, right. Page up and page down, they will move the view up and down. This is the normal speed of, of the view. You can shift and up to slow down and control up to control down to speed up the camera. Um, so, uh, to select an object, we just have to right-click with our mouse on the object. It will be highlighted in purple, and it will be highlighted also on here on the left. This is the tree, the sheen tree, with all the list of our objects as they are exported in from, from our CAD. So here we have the properties of related to this single object name 35 road 02 we have all its properties let's change a shader from of this this object so let's go on material Material. These are the properties of the material of this shader assigned. To change the shader, let's say we want to put a normal map. We use per pixel normal map. And diffuse, we have the texture we, we assign in, in our CAD. And this is the, the slot for the normal map actually is null, meaning it's not assigned. We have to assign as for new normal map. This is the normal map assigned. Obviously now we are working on material mode, so all the objects using this material will be affected. So now we selected 35 road 02, but also 34 road 01 will be affected with the normal map because when you work on material mode uh, every object using that material will be affected basically if you will work in object mode you can change properties that are related only to this specific object like casting shadow active on 
true or false, renderable true or false, and other like log. So now we assign a normal map to 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 the object. Let's change some parameters like ambient multiplier, let's say 0 0.4, diffuse 0 0.4, and the specular, let's say let's say 0 0.3, 0 0.4. The specular exponent is uh, we can say it's the roughness of the objects. So the maximum is 2.5, it becomes basically like water. 155 starts to be bigger, 105 bigger, 55 bigger, let's say 10 it becomes bigger. So let's play around with the editor changing like this is grass. Okay. We can let the normal per pixel and just we take out the specular. Let's take out the specular here. Zero. Let's play with some tree. We select the tree. We use alpha test. And as you see, now it it's takes in consideration uh, the transparency of the alpha from 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 the texture. So let's take specular to zero, and let's say 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and this is important. Alpha reference is the way it generates the shadow. The bigger the number, the smaller the shadow it is. 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, you put 1. It starts to become like completely transparent. The, the shadow starts to be completely transparent, let's say 0.2. Let's do the same to the other trees. Five pixel alpha test one two zero. Okay, let's change this. Side zero per pixel alpha test and point two. Alpha test point two. Let's change another Auschwald. This Auschwald here. You use a normal map. And we try to just in according. So let's say that our project is finished. We assign all the material, we are happy with the, with the results, and we want to finish our work for today. So the first thing to do is this file save persistence. So what is a persistence file? It simply stores all the object and material properties. So if you change a value or property for a material or an object, it will be stored in the persistence file. Beware that the persistence file it doesn't work as an undo so it only stores the last change that you applied to that material or object uh, so you can't go back okay 
once you save your persistence you can if you want you can save your track you can export your track you save km5 track and you call it and this and now the track is saved and it's ready to be to be used in in the game how it works the persistence let's close the editor let's open it again we open our fpx again You will always start at 0, 0, 0, 0.0.0 but as you see you already have all your material changes already applied the trees with their transparency roll with a normal map every change so I think that's all for today and see you on the next tutorial have good fun